Hey, hey, it's time for Kathy Bow's Crafting Show. Yay! We're going to have fun. I got some fun stuff to show you. Need to know you're here. Please comment below. Say hey. Um, I'll show you last week's project. That's this. Hello. Hello. Hey, Dana. So glad you're here. We're doing Dollar Tree Crafting today. Um, we're going to use... Um, we're going to use some really basic things that I think you can get pretty much anywhere. Well, I mean, a lot of it's Dollar Tree, but I'm saying, like, we're going to use an embroidery hoop, okay? And we're using some metal chicken wire ribbon thing from Hobby Lobby. This, and I think... Why do I think I found this in the, I think I found it in the um, um, wedding section. Okay, so since y'all are here and it's a minute after, I'm going to go ahead and get started because, you know, we want to get this done and finished and all that, okay? Okay, so hey, hey, here we go. I've got my Dollar Tree um, contact paper that I use to, um, you know, to... It, it's real easy. Like I can wipe paint off or I can get hot glue on it, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. So today we are using this little hoop and I'm just going to give you an idea and then I'll show you the finished one that I've already done. But all I'm going to do is put, I, I mean, I, it's called ribbon, I think, but you know, it's chicken wire like chicken wire look anyway and i'm gonna go a good bit over the edge and i will be auctioning this off at the end of this live today so um if you know if we have enough people here and if you've just joined in and um and you haven't said anything yet please comment let me know you're here but if we get enough joined in i will auction it off today you're gonna want a pair of little pliers that wire cutter plier things because these dudes they're sharp right so you put a piece I'm a little over here I'm over here and I'm gonna cut above here all right which it's gonna seem like well why because we're gonna cut it again but it's so that you can manage it with your when you go to install it okay I'm just going to install this one piece and then show you how I did the other one because I don't need to do two of them unless everybody wants it. But okay, so I'm going to lay that one like that and I'm going to put the next one beside it and I'm not too worried right now about lining up these, these little chicken wire circles. I can do that in a minute. But, well, I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and cut it so y'all can see what I'm talking about. I prefer these, these little cutters. They seem to be a little faster. Okay, yeah. The, I guess they're easier because they're easier to handle. Um, these are just kind of crafting wire cutter thingies. Pro I got this in the jewelry department at one of those stores. I don't know. Not Dollar Tree. Like Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Okay, so I wasn't going to do the whole thing, but now I am. You see how things can change? But y'all, this is going to be so cute. Okay, I'm going to take this completely off. Because this wire, y'all, it well, maybe I don't need to with this one, but I will. This wire gets downright moody. Downright moody. You're going to... Now's the time to line up your wire. Okay? So you're going to press it in there. And I mean, if, if, you know, it would bug me to see it not lined up. If it doesn't bother you, then don't, don't worry about it, you know? Um, okay, so this, like I said, this is not the one that I created um, for today's live. But I do want to show y'all what to do. Okay, so I'm just going to press these guys down. And really, you would need some gloves that, um, where it won't, you know, pinch your skin. And 
this is important to show y'all this step because it can get a little crazy. Okay, so, and oh y'all, Ninja Man, he's in there. He's been on hold now for easily 45 minutes. He's trying to talk to the IRS because they are trying to mess with us. And y'all, bless his heart. This is like, he's been after this particular situation since January of 2020, okay? Since before COVID, right? Um, all right, this, this particular style is is a little more difficult because of the way the screw goes on. All right, so I'm just going to go from here and come on now. Yeah, so he's been on hold forever with the IRS. So yesterday he called. He was on hold, you know, where the machine still hasn't connected you to somebody. He was on there yesterday for um, well over an hour, just listening to the machine, right? So dude gets on the phone, talks to him, and Ninja Man presented everything to the dude and click, hung up or disconnected. I mean, I heard him. He wasn't being rude or anything. He was watching his P's and Q's because, you know, I, I do have to tell him, you got to watch your P's and Q's when you're talking to the IRS man. You don't want to go, you know, you don't want to go making him mad, okay? So I'm just screwing this on really, really tight. Okay, and from here, all you're going to do, you're going to kind of place it really good all around, make sure it's good, and then you're just going to come back and, and trim all of this, okay? And once you've trimmed it, first of all, when you're trimming it, hey, Tammy, yes, it's such a pain. Um, so he's in there doing that now and the difference is substantial because we have evidence, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, they actually owe us money, but anyway, um, cause earlier I told him, I said, you know what, let's just pay it. And he's like, nope, because it's, it's substantial. And I didn't realize. So anyway, you're going to take your wire cutters. Now y'all, when I was doing the other one that I'm about to show you, a little piece of wire went shing. And I, and I thought, praise the Lord, that wasn't my eyeball. So I would suggest you kind of cover it and, you know, cause it'll bounce against your hand or whatever, especially if you're wearing a glove, do that. Okay. So that's how we're going to do it. Oh, and when you rub your hand across after you've trimmed these, if you still have a little, a little prickle, just push it down with a tool. All right. I used, um, oh, come on. I don't even see it now. But I used the little tool I've got, um, just just something, you know, to press it down, okay? All right, so this is the finished one I did yesterday. And it's a wooden one, which to me is a little more friendly. Oh, hey, Hopper. Um, the wooden one is a little more friendly than that plastic. And if you look close, you can see the little wires down in here, right? Okay, so all I did was take a little, uh, here it is. I happen to have one of these. It's a um, paper crafting tool and it's got a little spoon on this side and a little scoop on that side. And I just pressed them down. Yeah. With the spoon edge. I just pressed that metal down in there because I don't like sharp corners on anything. Okay. This one took one, two, three pieces and you know, it's just cute, cute. All right. And Y'all, if you're here and you haven't commented, let me know you're here. Um, I am early today. And if you're watching the replay, comment there, please. Just let me know you, you stopped in. Okay, y'all, this is where it gets really cute. Okay, so I bought these little, these little bottles. Here we go. They've got little metal caps. They come like this, but they've got the little metal caps on them. I've, I know one day somebody's going to do something with these caps, so I need to save it. And they are called, this is from the Dollar Tree, they are called mini glass containers. 0.2 fluid ounce each. Um, Tammy, last night we had huge storms that really, I, I didn't even know about them. I slept through them. See how tiny? But other than that, it's great. The sun is out. It's a nice temperature outside. It's pretty, you know, yada, yada. 
Um, so yeah, we thank the Lord. It, it just kind of went by us. Okay, so then, and, and why did I buy these little bottles? Because they are too stinking cute to leave in the store. You get one, two, three, four, five. You get five for a dollar. And when I bought them, y'all, I had no idea, no clue what to do with them. But wait, there's more. This is from Hobby Lobby, the Ribbon Boutique. It's five-eighths of an inch buffalo plaid ribbon, okay? And I shall show you what I'm going to do. Get my, I got, I've got a Lazy Susan right in front of me here. And I have to get stuff off of it sometimes. Like, I'm going to use this tape. And all I'm going to do is take this little bottle. Y'all going to love this. I'm going to tape it to here. So the chicken wire ribbon. Oh, hey, Lisa. Hey, Angela. Yes, it's, it's, um, it's noon today. Um, let's see. Lisa, can't stay. We're packing my sister's time. Oh, boy. Well, please come back and watch the uh, replay. Let me know if you have any questions. And congrats on the sale. Yay. Okay, so all I'm doing is taping down this adorable ribbon. Okay, is that not the careless thing? And you can kind of adjust it because, you know, we didn't glue it down. Tammy, thank you. I was, I was a little, you know, a little concerned there when I saw the storms. Okay, so that's how we're going to do our little bottles. And let me get the others out. Here's one, two. I've got a Ziploc, ow, a Ziploc bag with everything. And I've also got a hot glue gun over here. Look how cute this is going to be. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, i got to get us some uh, ribbon. Well, actually, it's twine. It's not ribbon. It's twine. And I would love to tell you. Oh, here it is. I started to say I'd love to tell you why, where I got this. Um, you know what? This looks like Tuesday morning. I don't know. It, it definitely looks like Tuesday morning. Um, hey, Cricket. I'm so glad you're here. Um, yeah, so our Tuesday morning closed, y'all. And when I lived in Savannah... The Tuesday morning there was like crazy, just like you couldn't find anything hardly. Now I'm going to tie this first one on the Tuesday morning in Savannah. I don't know how it is now, but man, I felt like when I go into a store that's that, um, well, I hate to use the word messed up, but I'm going to say messed up. When I go into a place like that, I just want to clear it up. And, um, oh, hey, Natalie. Hopper, I'll be listening as I work. Don't worry, I'm still here. Thank you, Hopper. Um, and I finally got the cricket reference, you silly thing. That was so funny. Anyway, so I'd go there, and y'all, I just wanted to clean it up. Um, so I didn't like to shop there, but and I'm double knotting this twine right here. But our Tuesday morning here, y'all, it was beautiful. I loved it. Well, I mean, you know, how can a store be beautiful? It was well organized and I loved it. But, you know, the Rona took it away from us. The Rona. So now it's some sort of pool and spa place. So, you know, maybe I need a pool now. I don't know. All right, I'm going to put this one here. And again, this is just twine that I got it Tuesday morning. Oh, so back to Savannah. All right, so... Ninja Man and I used to have this huge RV, huge, y'all, and it was called a fifth wheel, which means that he towed it behind his truck, and again with the double knot and then a bow, all right? Um, we towed it behind his truck, and, and we got a, um, we went to Tybee Island with our RV, okay? And y'all, this is a story about... Trunk shrimp, all right? Trunk shrimp, I'm telling you, it's a thing, okay? All right, so trunk shrimp. So we're at Tybee Island, and we've been there, I think we were there for like two weeks. Now, I cut another piece, and here it is on the floor. Um, 
we've been there, I guess, two weeks. And, you know, campers make friends. They do. Nobody, I won't say nobody, but few people go camping and don't make new friends. And y'all, they're, it's like everybody's kind of of the same mindset. They're there to enjoy whatever. And chances are you're going to make you some lifelong friends. Okay. So anyway, while we were there, this dude drives up and he's in a car and he opens his trunk and he's got him some trunk shrimp, all right? And he's like, does anybody want to buy some shrimp? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I love shrimp, but I don't think I should eat trunk shrimp. Now, keep in mind, this was Savannah. So I'm sitting there going, I love me some shrimp, but I don't know about trunk shrimp. Because let's just say, let's just say, all right, let's say you buy you some trunk shrimp and and you get Trump Trump sh tr <laughs> trunk shrimp tummy. All right, who are you going to complain to? Are you going to go to the doctor and say, I have eaten shrimp from a man's trunk and I don't know why I'm sick? Are you? I didn't think so. Okay, y'all, so here we got our three little bottles. Aren't they cute? Oh, Petunia. Hey, Jan. Hey, Jan. This is Dollar Tree um, little jars and chicken wire from Hobby Lobby. I want to say it was the wedding section. And then a wooden hoop. Okay, so back to trunk shrimp. Um, and we got Dollar Tree little flowers here. And these are actually called... Larkspurs or lilac, I'm not sure, because those are the two kind I bought. Lark, Larkspur, maybe these are lilacs, white lilacs, I don't know. Um, so I go and I ask up at the office, because I'm really wanting me some trunk shrimp. And I ask at the office, I said, there's a dude out here with some trunk shrimp. And the lady goes, oh, hey, Candace. And the lady goes, there's a guy out there with what? And I said, trunk shrimp. You know, he's got a big old thing of shrimp and it's in his trunk. And I don't know if I should eat it or not. So what I want to know is, does he come around often? Do you know anything about him? You know, what's going on with the dude with the trunk shrimp? Okay, I'm going to hot glue these down just, just a wee bit. Just a wee bit right here. And I will be auctioning this off at the end of this live, y'all. And it will be however much plus $5 shipping. Um, so, yeah. So, <laughs> she's like, oh, that's so-and-so. <laughs> that's Boudreaux, you know. She's like, that whoever. I'm going to call him Boudreaux because Boudreaux would sell some trunk shrimp, right? And anyway, so, <laughs> so, yeah. I, she says, oh, yeah, that's Boudreaux. He's here a lot. I'm putting me some hot glue down in here so we can um, we can stick our flowers in. And she says, he's here a lot. He goes down and buys it from the fisherman right on the, right on the pier or whatever, you know. And I know about the fishermen who have real... Barbara, hey, hey. We're talking about trunk shrimp. Um... And you know this is going to lead to Daddy's TV. Barbara's my sister, y'all, and she's going to remember Daddy's TV. It was kind of like trunk shrimp. Um, but she says, yeah, he buys from the local fisherman down at the pier. And I'm like, all right. So, y'all, feeling like, I mean, it, it, we didn't get sick. I'll tell you that now. We didn't get sick. But I'm just saying, if you're going to buy you some trunk shrimp, I don't care if it's Tybee Island, like five minutes from the water, or if it's in Atlanta. You can't complain if you get trunk shrimp tummy. You can't. You can't tell anybody, well, I bought me some shrimp out of a guy's trunk and huh, would you believe I got sick, right? You can't, mm -mm, no. So, <laughs> something tragic did happen because I bought the trunk shrimp and y'all, it was fresh, it was great, it was legit trunk shrimp. Cricket has closed caption. It keeps typing Trump shrimp. <laughs> Trump shrimp. Trunk with a K. Trunk. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so I glued all these guys in. Now, y'all, we are going to put our little sign on here. I'm using Stampin' Up, y'all. Can y'all believe this? I'm using Home to Roost. It's, um, let's see, this, this has got to, yeah, this was a celebration set back in the day. I'm using this Rooster. I'm using this, um, paper pumpkin kind of a promotion thing for my um, paper pumpkin customers. We're using the welcome and I'll show you how we're going to do. And with photopolymer, this is photopolymer and this one is red rubber. Okay. Um, so with photopolymer, you should have a little spongy something underneath you, but I'm just, I'm just going to go for it. Y'all just going to do it. Let me find my little paper. Oh dear. All right, so I had I had a little paper here. What you would do is put a please hold, please hold. I've got to spin my um lazy Susan around, which I always tell y'all, my brother's wife's ex-wife's name was Susan, and she was anything but lazy. But I think of her every time I say lazy Susan. Okay, so I'm just gonna tape this over the word two. All right because it says welcome to, and then I could put like welcome to, um, paper pumpkin, you know, that kind of thing. Um, Barbara says, no trunk shrimp. Do not take me to lunch at trunk. Right? I know. Oh, the, the tragic thing that I'll, I'll tell you in a sec. All right. So now I'm going to remove my little paper and I didn't have paper big enough. So I've got just a, just a wee bit right here. Just going to clean that off. So now it just says welcome. And I really should have something underneath to make it stamp even better than that. Okay, so there's my welcome. And then I'm going to take my rooster. Rooster! And again, these are these are um, not available, but hey, you know, you can, you can stamp anything you want to. All right, so now we've got a welcome with the rooster. Welcome, rooster. Let me put my little thing there. I'm, I'm getting black ink on me, but y'all know what? I don't care. I don't care. I'm not so glamorous that I can't have a little bit of ink on me. Okay, so I've already done this, so we don't even need that. I took my oval um, dies and I cut out this little, oops, this little guy, okay? And I also, because I kind of feel like an overachiever at this point, I also made a little bow with the buffalo check. Oh, so the tragedy with the trunk shrimp. <laughs> Jan thought I was saying trunk shrimp too. It's trunk, like the trunk of a car. <laughs> oh, y'all, that's so funny. So, um, so yeah, the, um, we put the shrimp, we ate some of the shrimp there because, you know, he's legit now that the camp office has said we know him, you know, we ate, and he had it on ice, y'all, you know. But again, you know, I just wasn't sure because I am i haven't lived at the beach my whole life. You know, we just we just lived there for 20 years um, in the Savannah area. So, <laughs> let's see how we want to, okay. So, we were, we were in the RV, right? And lo and behold, y'all, Rooster would be a good name for someone selling trunk shrimp. <laughs> A rooster, Bubba Rooster Trunk Shrimp, Trunk Shrimp, y'all try to say it, say it out loud, Trunk Shrimp, <laughs> it's kind of hard to say, so I took some of the Trunk Shrimp after we'd eaten the first part, and I put it in the freezer, can I just tell y'all, if y'all ever learn anything from me, I don't care if it's how we're using heat guns, or uh, glue guns or wire to string our beat. I, I don't care what it is. Learn this. Do not, do not put shrimp in the freezer or refrigerator of an RV. Y'all, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. It, it was nasty. Okay. And we were regretting our trunk. Sh trunk <laughs> we were regretting our trunk shrimp for days. I mean, I scrubbed it and scrubbed it and scrubbed it. And finally I got the smell of shrimp and it, it wasn't stinky shrimp to begin with. It became stinky shrimp. Okay. 
And maybe the freezers in RVs are not as cold as our freezers at home. I don't know. I don't know, but y'all, don't do it, okay? All right, so <laughs> we've got our little welcome sign here. And you know what we could do? I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up, but let's see if I do, okay? And y'all, we're almost done. We're going we're gonna to auction off this bad boy. Hold on a sec. All right, black. I'm going to use black. I'm probably going to regret this. If I do, then I'll make a new one, and it'll look just like that to go on it, okay? And... I'm using anything to hold my, my paint, okay? Anything. So we're going to do that. And like I said, if I if I mess it up, y'all, then I will, I'll put a new one on there. If anybody bids on it, I'll put a new one on there and make it pretty, okay? All right, so here we go. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Um... No freezer in RVs. Got it. <laughs> Candace need to laugh today. Cricket. No, yes. No freezing scrimp, trunk scrimp or otherwise in the RVs. We're just gently, just gently. Okay, I'm going to like it. Just gently. Ta 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 we're trunk shrimp in the side of this. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to make me a t-shirt that says... <laughs> Trunk shrimp with a big circle and a red line through it. Just, just you know, like a PSA, right? Just in case. I mean, okay, so let me tell y'all about this. Other things people sell out of trunks. When Barbara Steele, who's on here, when uh, when when we were growing up, well, she was a teenager. She was She's always been, a, I don't think she was ever a child. She was born a, a beautiful teenager. But anyway, so dad comes home and he's just all full of himself. Because dad was frequently full of himself. Loved him, loved it. But y'all, he was too tall, he was too good looking, and he had too much money. Th that doesn't mean I got any of that. No, no. But I'm just saying, that was my dad. And our dad. And he comes home and he is so full of himself and he's like, family, guess y'all need to come to the table. Guess what I got? So everybody runs in the kitchen because, you know, we didn't, we couldn't Google stuff. We We barely had, you know, phone lines. But anyway, he comes in and he bought him not trunk shrimp. He bought him a trunk TV. He did. He was so proud of himself that he got it for like, I don't know, this was in the early 70s, y'all. Okay, I really do like this. Did y'all even see me doing it? I don't even know if you saw it. Um, I hope I was in camera. But y'all, <laughs> he it was gonna be our first color TV or something. I don't even know. I don't even know. It was gonna be this great TV thing. And I said, Dad, where'd you get it? <laughs> he said, Well, there was a gentleman, a, a fine young gentleman, because it, you were it, they were either fine young gentlemen or scalawags, is what Daddy called them. Mama called them scalawags too. So this fine young gentleman was was selling a TV out of his trunk. And dad gives him cash. I don't know. I, I want to say $65 for some reason. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. But he gave him cash. And the box, you know, it was all sealed up. It looked brand new. Everything was fine. Bless his fuzzy ears. Daddy pulled that thing out of the box on the kitchen table, y'all. And it literally was the the... TV, but all the insides were fried. Like, I don't know if somebody set it on fire and blew it out in time. I don't know if it got, <laughs> if it got struck by lightning. But that fine young gentleman, in no time, became a scalawag. And Daddy goes, I'm going to get that scalawag. And he storms out of the house. And he <laughs> flies up in his green El Dorado, y'all. He had a green... Cadillac Eldorado, and it was like lime green. He must have made a deal and got that lime green. It it was a pimp mobile, y'all. It really now my daddy was not one, but I'm just saying it was it it was definitely a pimp mobile. Okay, so we're gonna put this right here. And y'all, I designed this whole thing. I mean, I saw a video on somebody doing chicken wire with a bunch of flowers and stuff, but I'm like, wait, wait. It was pitiful, wasn't it, Barbara? 
So, bless it. He he had to go get that scalawag. And, well, the scalawag was on his way to sell more trunk TVs. He wasn't even there. Are y'all surprised? Dad seemed to be. But, um... <laughs> If they're selling it out of a trunk, it may not be legit. All right, y'all, we're not done. We're not done. I'm going to show y'all something else. These are little, um, some of them are teeny tiny little um, clothespins, and some of them are bigger. But this is my little collection. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this silver one, see if we like that. So Marilyn earlier had asked me if, if I've eaten. And I said no. And I'm starting to tell it now because I'm getting a little shaky. But that's okay, y'all. It's okay. Um, all right, hold on. These guys like to go sideways because they're a real hoopty. Oh, Cricket. He he was so mad. He was so mad. But, you know, it, it kind of didn't stop him. He, <laughs> he continued to trust people. I always said he was generous to a fault. Okay, so I'm going to hook this on here like this so that if you want to like, to like, you know, put a note on here, like if you want to write a note to your family that says avoid trunk shrimp, you can do that, okay? Uh, it's just a little... <laughs> Life lessons, you know, you could post them on your, what you could text it or you could put it on a note. Avoid the trunk shrimp. Okay. So, all right. Now, y'all, I'm going to show you. I've strung most of them because what could be more exciting than watching me string beads? Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. I've already painted them. What I did, I took my beads and I have... Uh-oh. There's my little... Mm, okay. This came from Dollar Tree and oh hey Teresa you missed the trunk shrimp you're gonna have to listen to it because it's a life lesson do y'all agree it's a life lesson should Teresa listen to it um this is in the floral <laughs> this is where they have flowers and stuff at Dollar Tree <laughs> and the other day I saw you can get different colors well what I do I put my beads on it and um like this and they're you know they're just blonde wooden beads and I paint I just paint the whole group and they spin around and it's kind of festive it's kind of fun it's it it's great and this this itty bitty bead right here it fits too so you know it's kind of like a little party I, I don't even know but anyway that's how I do it and I keep I keep my little wires over here on the left and you can see the paint you know so Okay, so I've already threaded most of my beads, but I did want y'all to see what else I'm using. These are the little um, dental floss thingies that you get if you've got somebody in the house with braces, right? Or a um, uh, bridge, something like that. Oh, here it is. Um, now, everybody, everyone needs a trunk shrimp shirt. That's right. Yes, yes. Never buy anything out of a trunk. <laughs> And Marilyn, if you do, you cannot complain. <laughs> Barbara goes, well, Kathy. <laughs> you can't complain. If you get the sizzlings from Trunk Shrimp, you don't tell you no, that you deserve it. Okay? That's I mean, I'm just saying, I'm not judging. I'm just saying. All right, so <laughs> this is the little thing that comes in. And you get a bunch, but I keep them for crafting. Okay, so all I do, I've already done it. I put my little, my little um, rope over here, through here, and then I put on my bead that I've already pre-painted on my wire. Okay, there you go. All right, and then I just, I just, I just, <laughs> ah. Okay, there we go. And then I just put the black one on right there. Y'all are cracking me up over here. And and if y'all have ever bought trunk shrimp and lived to tell about it, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, look how cute this is going to be. Oh, my word. Okay, okay. And the fact that I am, I am living proof, some trunk shrimp is legit. But not all. <laughs> just want y'all to know. And you can hang it on your door or you can, you can, you can put it, y'all can tie it to your trunk. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Let's see. Eva, hey, hey. Focus, friend, focus. I know. Heather, you're so, so glad you came up on my feet. Love your creation. Question, how are you getting your cute face image on your late t live tabletop view? Eva, we need to talk about that. It's called Switcher Studio. And I'll tell you all about it. Um, I'll send you, I'll send you a, a private message. Marilyn, be careful for tongue-tied crafters. <laughs> I can see it now. Mama Bo's trunk shrimp. Hopper, yes. Mama Bo's trunk shrimp. We could do that. See, here I go off to a new adventure. <laughs> a new adventure. Barbara, I don't like the meat guy that travels around. <laughs> He's got him a dog catcher. Oh, oh, okay, that hurt my face. <laughs> oh, hey, Ninja Man's talking to the IRS now. Oh, y'all, finally, bless it. I mean, y'all, he's tried so hard. Okay, now we're going to put this on the back of here. And this is going to be what, what you can hang it from, okay? We're going to put it right here with our hot glue as opposed to cold glue all right it's 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 coming y'all right there right there okay we're gonna put that there and we're gonna put this one we gotta line it up a little bit i'm kind of judging on either side of this piece of uh cardstock y'all that's got the rooster on it okay now don't forget when you <laughs> Tammy says, I can't breathe. <laughs> Mama Bo's trunk shrimp. I could do t-shirts. Yes. And and I'd have to have a fast car hopper because I've got to like sell it and go, right? I got to sell it and go. I ain't hanging around. I, ain't hang I learned that from the TV guy back in the day. Sell it and go. I mean, no returns. You cannot return your dang trunk shrimp. I don't care what it does. You can't. Now we're waiting on this to dry. <laughs> if y'all want to know where I got this pretty ribbon, I'll tell you again. This is the <laughs> trunk shrimp, y'all. I'm sorry. But these things happen to me. They, they do. These things happen to me. Y'all, my church is having a, a women's conference, and I've got to do five events in a matter of two days, Friday and Saturday, or maybe Saturday, yeah, Friday, Saturday, I think that's what, I don't even know, I don't even know when it, I gotta do t five events, but they're short, they're short, now I'm thinking I need to tell them about trunk shrimp, <laughs> daddy tried, Barbara said, <laughs> yes, okay, I'm getting my hookups, I got the name for my business, I can make my own t-shirts, all right, so, so, Hopper says, Mama Bo's trunk shrimp, got it, I, got, I can make my own t-shirts for me and my crew, and Zia can get me a fast car. And I know he won't mind me putting my trunk shrimp in there, right, Tim? <laughs> hey, we might even do some trunk trunk shrimp catfish. Yes, we might get trunk, trunk shrimp catfish. <laughs> oh, kitchen towels for trunk shrimp. Marilyn <laughs> Tell me more. I'm sitting here playing with this. Okay, okay. I'm waiting on this to dry. Let's see how good we are. Oh, we're we're pretty good, y'all. There we go. We can hang it. Okay, y'all. So we're going to... The cute little bottles with the little things. And if hey, if y'all don't like it, yank it out. But hold on to this. But yank it out and put your own flowers in. I don't, it, it's okay with me. It is okay with me. And if you buy your flowers out of somebody's trunk... No. Barbara... <laughs> Kathy Bo's trunk shrimp is going to be a hit. I know it is. I know it is. And y'all can y'all can rally and get me bail money, right? Uh oh, the popo. Can y'all hear him? Oh, they heard about my new business. Oh dear. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> don't forget life lessons right here at Kathy Bo's Crafting Show Thursdays at one p.m. All right, y'all. Thanks for coming by. Next week, I do plan to be back at one o'clock. And all right. Love y'all. Thank you so much and God bless. Toodles.